Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 45, and this is war number four. And we're going against an alliance called Samurai Blood 3. All right, let's see, who do they ban? All right, pretty common, Void. Yeah, next next uh, season, I'm pretty sure um, Silk and Void will be globally banned and Titania and Hulk will be free to be banned. Anyway, I don't really like the banning system. All right, so let's uh, take a look here and let's start formulating our plan. All right, first off, we've got Juggernaut and he's a global defender. So I need to have somebody that can handle that. Um, might be a uh, Quicksilver. He doesn't gain armor ups, so Quicksilver should be fine. And oh man, we got Penny Parker. So that's a gallon fight. Okay. So right now I'm thinking, uh, Quicksilver and gallon. Okay. Now I usually see these guys. And I think Corvus, but I've not been having good luck with Corvus against that Ant-Man future. So I'm going to probably bring in um, Magneto. And we're going to see how Magneto works. And the reason I'm thinking about Magneto, on this first node, I have to deal with um, Bleed. And on this next node, I have to deal with shock. They both get armor ups, and those what the nodes do. I'm thinking, and we can take a look here. Let's take a look here at uh, my Magneto. And he gets a... Let's see, you've got the critical resistance, and you see how his uh, SIG level, which I'm getting up, uh, is uh, doing more and more uh, energy damage. Okay, both of them are going to be metal. And so the magnetism works. Okay. And incoming bleed and shock debuffs suffer... 90% potency. Now, with the bleed, I have coagulate. With the shock, not so much. But that's why I'm thinking of bringing in Magneto uh, for that. All right? So that's the, uh, ay, ay, ay. That's the plan. Okay, we're, we're going to bring in Spectate here. Quicksilver, Gallon, or Hulkling. One of the two for this uh, Penny Parker. I might bring in Hulkling because he might be able to do something else. Maybe another, um, like maybe this Sauron. On high energy diet. Hulkling could do that fight, I think. And let's see, is there anything else? Somebody else has already taken that photon. So, yeah, instead of bringing Gallon, yeah, I'll bring Hulkling and then uh, that might. give me more flexibility. So Quicksilver, Hulkling, Magneto. And we'll discuss the minis if I have someone here, because Quicksilver might be good for, um, not sure actually, uh, of the minis here.
see. Maybe uh, Mangog. Ugh. Power gain. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway. All right. So Quicksilver, um, Magneto, and Hulkling. And then we'll discuss and see uh, if I have a, a good option for uh, anyone here. And I'm thinking of this Sauron. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, we're going in with Magneto, Quicksilver, and Hulkling. Now, Quicksilver is a decay attacker, and we've got a target for him. That's an interesting fight. He can definitely do that fight. But first, we're gonna deal with this Juggernaut. Now, I remember Juggernaut, and I remember when they changed him, they made him easier to fight, but way more of an offensive juggernaut. Now, one of the things that you want to be careful about are his unstoppables. Now, if you'll recall in the last war, I went up against a Hulk who was not awakened. So I didn't need to get that slow on him. But with this juggernaut, I'm not going to take any chances. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, all right? So how we do that with uh, Quicksilver, we'll start off with a heavy attack, all right? So we get a heavy, and now we just need to back up. Every time we back up, we're getting double because we did that heavy attack, all right? Look at that. Now, see, he has that unstoppable. See the unstoppable? But we're about to shut that down permanently. We don't have to worry about it no more. Now we can just fight. So at 300 of the charges, uh, we can ignore the unstoppable, which is what makes him so dangerous. And look at that. Down. If you think... Quicksilver can't do offensive fights. You should learn more about Quicksilver. He is awesome. All right, so the next fight, we've got Penny Parker. Now, I remember when she first came out, she was a pain. And that's kind of what Kabam does. They, they come out with a really strong defender, but then they come out with champions that can handle that defender like hulkling also gallon can do it but i chose hulkling because he can do some other fights later on all right so i like pushing her to a special two and just going in i don't like her special one but with hulkling it doesn't really matter okay um, whether she has that sink shield up or not, Hulkling doesn't care. All right, so here we go. She's at a special one, but like I said, I don't really care. Special one, special two, doesn't matter. Look, look at Hulkling go. Just took her out. Remember how much of a pain she was? Hulkling and Gallon are like the best counters at least that I know of right now for her. And in fact, I think Gallon might be a little bit better. Maybe. But doesn't matter. All right. Now, next fight, we've got Infamous Iron Man. Now, this time, I'm going in with Magneto. Now, I told you guys in a previous video that Corvus can do this fight. You just have to manage his charges very carefully. But I was told that Magneto might be a, a better option. And when I ranked up Magneto, um, I think I showed you guys uh, that he gets like a 90% reduction in the potency of bleed and shock. 
All right. So I'm like, okay. And I have coagulate. So 90% potency reduction plus coagulate maxed out. I shouldn't have to worry about any bleed whatsoever. Right? So you can see here, we're just basically going in. We're, we're um, building up our prowesses. Uh, those notifications. I always forget to turn them off too. Uh, but anyway, here we go. And I'm like, yeah, I'm about to get him with a nice special three. Okay. But I noticed that my health, you see my health? I'm like, ho, ho, hold up. Why am I taking damage? And so I'm like, this is crazy. All right. So I'm like, oh boy, this is exactly the kind of thing I hate. Now I'm trying to build up my prowess, right? Here we go. But he won't let me. Let's just say it that way. Infamous Iron Man will not let me. All right, look at this damage. He hasn't touched me yet. Okay, so at this point, I'm like, okay, I need to change something up because I'm about to die. You know, I'm like, why am I taking all this damage from the bleed? All right, so now I'm hoping that the shrapnel will uh, do a little work, but yeah. So you see, I just went in. No more heavy, uh, parry heavy style or anything. I'm like, yo, I got to get this guy down. Now, because of that, I got really nervous. I was planning to use Magneto against this Ant-Man future. Now, if you watched in the last video, I told you last time I'm going to use Corvus against Ant-Man future there. Just not doing it. Um, he can do it, but you have to be very careful, patient, whatever. Okay. Now, something that I was told at this point, all the fights are done. I'm actually the last person and the war is extremely close. If I can solo all the rest of my fights, we win. If I die just once, I believe it'll be a tie and we should win on time. So no pressure. So I'm like, okay, I boosted up and here we go. So now when you have a pierce, you're not supposed to have to worry about glancing. However, I noticed that while I had a pierce up, I'm still glancing. So I'm like, am I missing something? I'm like, what's going on? So now my pierce is gone. And to get another pierce, I've got to actually hit him. But if he's glancing everything, I can't get another pierce. All right. So I am now going, wow, really? Did I make a big mistake? in not healing up my Magneto and bringing Magneto in for this fight. All right, I don't know. One of the things that I liked about um, Hulkling is that I didn't have to worry about the power drain. So that power detonation or whatever. But now at this point, I'm like, okay, you notice something about me fighting here? I'm fighting to get out of the corner and then I got stunned and I'm like, wow. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna die. I'm about to die. And then I said, okay, wait, 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 wait. We've got to, we got to hold off. Okay. Notice Hulkling is getting a little bit of uh, health back, but then that happens. I'm like, I don't believe this. I'm sitting here just saying, I do not believe this. Can't believe I'm about to, to get taken out on this guy all right there he goes bam bam right into my block Ugh. i'm like really and there i am i'm still trying to do it still trying to get it you know doing the striker nothing's working he's just glancing everything all right so now i'm trying to um do an intercept to get some of those um armor ups 
off of them. But then I said, you know what? Why don't I just wait those out? Let's calm down, wait them out. All right, just easy, easy. You see, I'm, I'm not attacking him, not doing anything. Because the more armor ups he has, the more of a chance to glance, okay? So I'm determined right now to just let those things go. All right, so here we go. He's down to two. All right, his last one's about to expire. All right, now, attack. Yeah. All right, now I got a pierce. So we're doing good now. Okay, this, this might work, this might work. Oh, he tried to get away from me, all right. Into his block again. Oh, we're unblockable. Oh, you know what happens now. Ooh, yeah, that's the way. Maybe I won't die. Oh, get him in that block, get him in that block. And we pulled it off. I couldn't believe it. I was like, wow. I thought for sure I was done in that fight. But I didn't give up. I adjusted and we did it. I, Hulkling, Hulkling's a beast. It's me that's having a problem knowing how to fight. Cause as you can see, he does that fight just fine. But I was messing up. I wasn't doing what I should do. Now, here we got Ebony Maw. All we gotta do is clear this guy, we win the war. Now, at this time, I did not understand that Quicksilver doesn't uh, or is not buff immune, okay? So I was thinking, you know, he's a decay attacker, great. He won't get those placebo buffs, but he will get buffs, just not the dexterity buffs. So I'm like, okay, if he's not gonna get the placebo buffs, and he's not going to get the dexterity buffs, we should be fine. Now, you saw what I put up. I didn't put up an uh, invulnerability boost. All right, so here we go. Bam. Started off great. All right. Here we go. We're going in. Everything is looking good. All right. Mm-hmm. Just going in, going in. All right. Need to try to ev um, bait that out. All right. And, uh-oh. Not only am I... Rooted, which triggers me, by the way. But look at this. I got, I was like, wait, did you just hit me? What, what are you doing? How are you hitting me? What the heck? So I was sitting here fuming, okay? I got rooted, so I was already triggered. But I got my special off, got out of the root. And so I'm like, okay, we should be good. Then he hits me. Now, one of the nodes on here is bubble shield. If you get hit into your block too many times, he goes unblockable. His next attack is unblockable. So I blocked a lot, especially with the root. And so his next attack, bah, hit me right in the face, threw me off. And I'm like, oh my goodness, what's going on? And then the next one, he just started hitting me again. And I'm like, I don't believe this. Took me out. I was like, okay, all right. I was like, sorry guys. Now, see that? This time, wasn't playing with him, put up the un invulnerability boost, healed up. Now let's see how he goes, all right? So here we go, da da da. Build up those withers and we should be good, all right? All right, he's focused, but this time I'm like, let me not try to, you know, parry him. Okay, oh, mission complete. Now I'm degening because he's not immune to buffs. And you see all those hits into my block? Not good, but I'm like, okay, I got it. Now see right there, I should have hit him with a heavy. And so I did this and messed up, but I had the indestructible. However, look at him, he's just flowing in, flowing in. And then he's coming over, block, block, unblockable. I was like, I threw my hands up. I said, I cannot believe that I lost two ABs. 
And now I know that I did not lose us the war because of course it's a team effort, right? But y'all already know I feel that way, right? You know I feel that way. We needed me to just perform the way I usually do. Clear the last one. I made a great, great effort against that Hulkling. I mean, against that um, Ant-Man future. And then this. The bubble shield and the root. Not good. But I learned. I learned. Now, that last part, I made that mistake. This was not an input issue, all right? This was just me playing badly. But when I got him with that heavy that time, I should have hit him with a, a heavy attack, okay? And I wouldn't have messed up because he wouldn't have gone um, falter. He wouldn't have had that falter on me. So we finally got him down, but I actually lost two attack bonuses if i had just even done one we would have been okay huh <sighs> i felt bad still feel bad but anyway we'll be back as you can see and we'll find out how this war ended And we're back, and as we know, we lost. Look at the score. Look at the score. That's all I got to say. Look at the score. I had a chance to pull this one off for us, and I failed. Two ABs lost on one fight. And my, and my um, alliance leader, very nice. And he was like, we win as a team, lose as a team. These things, you know, they happen. It wasn't you that lost this war because, you know, it was an all around poor performance. But I couldn't help but feel this way. So next war, you know I'm going in, right? You know I'm going in. You know I'm not even playing, right? I need to make up for this. Anyway, that is going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.